You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Welcome to Mount Prospect, everybody. For the CN100 Game of the Week, we are at the Mount Prospect Ice Arena for high school hockey between Loyola Academy Gold and St. Viator. Welcome everybody, I'm Jim Blaney along with Don Johnson. We expect to have a great game for you tonight between one of the longtime blue bloods of Illinois high school hockey and one of the relative newcomers to elite hockey. First of all, Don, let's talk about Loyola Gold. It seems to be only a question of how far do they go and how close do they come to winning a state championship every year. They've been in the title game the last two years. They split, they finished second last year. D.J. LaVar should have another team that can make a run at winning it all. Yeah, well, D.J. LaVar is like the elder statesman here, and the gold is gold, and they're coming back with 21 new players. So he's got some line shuffling to do and a little bit of teaching, but he feels pretty confident. They're coming off a 5-2 win over Oak Park River Forest, and they have to get accustomed to some of the new rules changes on checking. A lot of penalties in the last outing. They found themselves in the power play and penalty killing quite a bit. So he's working on special teams, Jim. Two years ago, St. Viator got to the quarterfinals before they were bounced out of the tournament. Last year, they got to the semifinals. This year, they go to the finals. They've got a lot of experience and a lot of guys who know what they're doing. Yeah, if you talk about experience, the pupil is Tim Benz because he coached under DJ LeVar at Loyola. But he's bringing a team that has experience. The JVs won the championship, state championship that is last year. Got a lot of experienced players on the varsity that went to the final four. So they feel pretty confident about the style and the experience that this team has, Jim. Along the near board, penalty is over. Team's back playing even. Gern shoots, he scores. Oh. Gern had the stick side wide open and he buries it for a one nothing St. Viator lead. That's an even strength goal. That was lower shelf, left hand side. The goaltender never saw it. I think he was, his vision was obscured by his own defenseman. You see the puck come back out to the point. He takes the shot, hits the lower left hand side in the slot. You're gonna see how quickly the point, puck goes back out front. He's point blank, hits it lower left, tickles the cords, and uh, wasn't a power play goal, but it was certainly close to that. Come across, Chapetta takes a look at the top of the ring. Out in front, Gurn looking for a second goal tonight. That one didn't get through. Tarosian once again, plays it off to his right. Chapetta deep slot, he'll fire. That one blocked by Hart, and nicely guided into the far corner out of harm's way. Off of the end line, Tarosian fires, and that one rings in underneath the top of the crossbar. St. Viator leads it 2-0. And they still have 45 seconds left on the second penalty. They will stay on the power play. So a big power play goal by St. Viator. As you see, they're dragging the puck out of the corner. They get it centered. There's a shot. Ripples the cords there perfectly in the slot. St. Viator capitalizes. On the man, on the two-man advantage. Actually. Here's Alec Gern in the neutral zone. Alec Gern makes a nice move at the blue line on his backhand. Couldn't do anything with it. Goes back to the point. Chapetta fires it. Hart stops. Gave him a rebound. And it's pounded home by Canena. Second power play goal tonight for Saint Viator, and they lead three nothing. It was all about the Ford check here. We, we talked about Gerns getting in there. Good with the stick, wheels around. Here's a shot from the point. And then Canema was right there. Canema was right there to put it home. Here's a reverse angle. Gern wheels around. Here's a shot to the point. Now Canena gets his stick on it, puts it home. Lower right shelf. Braun takes a look, got a man down, didn't shoot one timer, and that one was deflected over the top of the net. Yeah, you don't need the big shot, you need accuracy here. Put the puck on net. Braun, cross eyes, Cornelison back to Braun, and it's it in! Is. Braun lost it off his skate, it rolls onto the stick of Walker, Loyola scores, and they are on the board. Walker scores, assisted by Braun. So they kept the pressure, they kept the puck in his zone. 
They get the cross ring pass. Braun gets it over. Walker puts it in the lower left hand shelf. And Walker did the same thing against OPRF. Came up with a goal and an assist. Comes up with a timely goal here. To the blue line. Braun looks, fires. Trekka fights that one off, puts it into the far corner. Turning, Braun fires yes. again, he scores! And Loyola is within one. Braun beat Patreka over the glove shoulder, and it's a 3-2 game. You can see he had it in his mind when he went behind the net. He was gonna look around. Watch Nicholas Braun. He goes behind the net, he's patient. When he comes out and sees the angle, fires it upper right-hand corner, a left-hand corner, ripples the cords. That's So he's assisted on the first goal, and then he scores on that one, finding the left-hand corner, keeping Loyola in this game at 8.34. To view this Xfinity program in its entirety, visit cn100.tv for a list of airtimes, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing Game of the Week. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local or simply say get local into your voice remote.